All right, today we are going to use a block of auger that's been dyed with some universal indicator. It changes color when it's in contact with acids. And we're going to use it to represent cells. And what you're going to do with this block is eventually you're going to, you're going to cut this block and eventually end up with four different blocks that each represent a cell, obviously, of a different size. So to start, you want to take the block that you're given, whatever side is the straightest along the end, you're going to line up on your ruler, and as long as you're following the guide on your lab paper, um, you'll, you'll, you should do okay. But you want to line this up so your first cut makes your block three centimeters. When you do that, I mean, everything else has been done. This should be pretty close to three centimeters on all sides. Okay, it's pretty good. This one, it's a little narrow, but it'll work. So there's your first block. Should look just like this one. Take, take the leftover block, line it up. This one, however, is only going to be two centimeters on a side. This is my straighter side, so I'm gonna put it over here. Cut very straight, as straight as you can, right down the block. Okay, there's 20 millimeters or two centimeters. I gotta make sure it's that size on all sides. Okay. Flip it around this way. Again, 20 millimeters or two centimeters. There, that should be pretty close. There's my second block. Should look just like the second one I had. All right, now we need to make our one centimeter block. So go ahead again, line it up. It's 10 millimeters or one centimeter. Okay. Do some trimming. There's my third block. Should look very similar to that one. Again, take your last little small chunk here and cut it in half. This time it's one, um, five millimeters or one half of a centimeter on all sides. This one's tiny, be careful with them. There. All right, you'll have some leftover, that's okay. But from one block, you should end up with four different sized blocks.